the artist, the fish, and the politician. Today, we are talking not about a joke of three different characters walking into a bar, but we are talking about The Winner's Effect by Ian Robertson. So this is a really amazing book and it has changed my outlook on winning and power in a huge way. And I'd like to share that with you because this book is really brilliant. So it starts off by talking about Pablo Picasso's son and how he did not become successful even though his father was successful. And you would expect that that would not be the case. Then Ian talks about changeling fish and what causes them to change and how that change comes about and allows that fish to then be able to start becoming a winner. And it has many, many different kinds of relations back to humans. He also talks about rats and other animals and how we are similar and how those things that those animals experience, we need to experience to be able to become more successful ourselves as well. So it is really important that we understand what is going on in our lives, why it's happening, but also how we can set ourselves in the right position. So the politician talks about Bill Clinton and uh, Tony Blair, and it talks about how one of them has more desire for power and the other one less and what's happened to them and why this is the case and how it has an advantage in order to make them winners, but also how it has a disadvantage because there is now too much power and that creates issues in itself. And the book also talks about why we want to win. So there's the story about the Oscars and why people work so hard and why people who win Oscars live longer than everybody else. So again, it talks about how power and how winning is achieved but what also the purpose is and why as humans we strive to do that. And in one of the other chapters, it talks about the flying CEOs and why we make blunders when we become successful and how to avoid that because that obviously is also a bit of a challenge. And then finally, it talks about the winning mind and how to actually balance everything that the book has talked about up until that point and how to then implement it into your life. So this is another book that I would absolutely recommend, five out of five, obviously. And it's going to be able to really help you to understand why sometimes you're feeling really, really down and not motivated to achieve and why at other times you are and how to channel it so that you can achieve more often and use that winner effect to be more of a winner. So if you want to win, then make sure that you read the book, but also make sure that you subscribe and like our channel. Leave a comment. Let us know if you've read the book and what you thought of it. Let us know if you haven't read the book and if you have been inspired to read the book. We love being able to share all sorts of different amazing things with you. So go out and see what you can do in order to be able to create the winner effect for yourself because... Your success is not just related to the things that you do. It's also related to the winning mind that chapter six talks about in this amazing book. And this is going to make a huge difference. You will not understand it until you read it and then it will make a huge difference. And next week, I will probably make a video at some stage where I explain the winning mind in a little bit more detail. So make sure you click subscribe and like and leave a comment. And I'm looking forward to seeing you for the next video very, very soon.